So Evans, let me ask you. So is there? Um, I mean, we see when when we do watch the Olympics or watch track and field. Um, you know, we see the people running. We see them do the jump. But is there a technique to your run and your speed and your agility? Is there a technique, or is it just running and just jumping? Oh uh, no, you. There's technique. The 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 most simplest technique is a what we call a a hitch and a hang. You know, when Bob Beeman broke the world record, he didn't do all the the running. We called that the hitch kick. Mm. And when you're approaching the board, we most jumpers have steps. You can only take so many steps to the board. Like I think Carl Lewis had maybe 22 steps because he was the fastest jump jumper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was taking 18 steps. Mm. You got eight. You got steps to go to the board so you don't step over that line. Ah. And and your body is it has to be like an automatic thing. Yeah. Like you, it's a feel. You you know long jump is like an airplane. Yeah. You you start off and you get faster faster and then you take off. Mm. That's and like, the do, you, do you like sling your arms in order to try to help you, you drive, with momentum? You drive. It's called the drive phase. You drive up off the board. I'm a left foot jumper, so when I take off, my right knee is at, try to get my right knee at 90 degrees, driving the left arm at the same time, pushing that leg down, rotation, and getting your hips at that angle. It called the um, the apex of the jump, where you go up mm. this high, and then you go into the jump. Real wow. technical. So wow. I, I, I've done both. I've done yeah. the hitch kick, and I've done the hang. I um, In my book, 26 feet, 9 inches, that's a 27-foot jump. Yeah. So I'm I'm yeah. a 27 footer. I ain't know that 26 hey. nine is like that much. The yeah. sand fly back. I said, no, I jumped 27 feet, man. All right, now I got something for you. You ready for this? <laughs> Tell us what happened in 1991 with Mike Powell. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> did I get you? Yet? <laughs> what? What in the world? 29 four feet. No, 29 four inches and a quarter. Set the. Set the world record. Set the world record. Hmm. Did you ever get a chance to compete against him ever? I competed against Mike. I competed you against did. Mike. I competed against Mike. I'm gonna tell you a story. Mike okay. Powell. I remember Mike Powell. Uh huh. When Mike Powell was jumping 26 feet, not 27 feet. Yeah. Okay. And um, I remember asking Mike Powell a question. I said, "Hey, why are you jumping in those jump in the sprint spike?" And he got he got kind of kind of arrogant with me. I was like, "Oh, fuck you too, bro." Oh, you know, I'm just asking a question. You know, we it's special it's specialty shoes. Yeah. We yeah. got and he, you know, yeah. he was arrogant, but he wasn't that good. Yeah. He wasn't that good. Yeah. And um, I'll make a long story just long story short. Um, during that same time, um, before it was 90, 91, 89, we had the Goodwill Games. Okay. And they had uh they wanted athletes to do they called me to do the commercial, mm-hmm. right, for the Goodwill Games. Mm-hmm. But I was Mike's pal. I was Mike Powell's uh uh I was like the double, the body double, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the dressing room was about this big. Okay. And he was such an asshole. Yeah. They was like it was bro, we they used me for the tape and then used him for the, the whole entire uh, thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was getting paid, so I was yeah. cool. But we we couldn't share a dressing room because he he wanted to be by himself. So they put me in a dressing room with Shannon Miller. Remember Shannon Miller, the gold medalist? Yeah, uh-huh. We was all, all the athletes, the top athletes got invited to do this commercial. Uh-huh. And um, I didn't make the Good World Games team, but I did a commercial. The the body stuff, Mike Powell didn't do it. Because they, they said, no, we don't want, we're not dealing with you. Yeah. So I ended up, I ended up being the face of that commercial. Oh, wow. And, I, and, and, and they did it because I, I didn't make no money from that. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're young, you sign this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I signed all the that that commercial was done all around the world, yeah, well, yeah. and they only paid me a certain amount of money. Yeah, the screen would open up. I was home watching it. I saw yeah. the screen open up. I saw this guy running, taking off. I was like, I said, "Shit, that's, that's me." me. <laughs> they use my. I called my ass. I was like, "Man," he said, "You signed that paper, man." It, <laughs> These what they want. Yeah, you know. But Mike, Mike Powell, and you know. I can't take nothing away from Mike Powell. He was a great jumper. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I think all of us have a little arrogancy. In yeah. It. When you when you when you're dealing with individuals, you know, I'm, I was never that guy. <laughs> I, I wasn't. I wasn't that kind. Yeah. He was. He was a shit yeah. talker. And he beat Carl Lewis head up. Yeah. You know, I, I whoever Carl's only lost one time in his career. Mm-hmm. People don't know that. Yeah, that's that's unbelievable. Yeah, he's he's like, they don't give him no credit either. Right. He's the best track and foot yeah. guy in the history. I think. Yeah. 
Even over, to, over, over Hussein Bolt, yeah. Michael Johnson, yeah. Carl Lewis set the set the set the playing field. Yeah, he Carl didn't run for free. Yeah, because of Carl, we made money in this sport. Mm. You know, yeah. Carl was nothing else. So when you see guys like uh, Hussein Bolt getting three hundred thousand dollars just to show up to a meet, that's because of Carl Lewis did that. Right. Carl started that, so you know. Yeah. But I didn't really, I didn't really, I didn't really like Mike Powell too yeah, much. But I respected what he was yeah, doing. Right. We wasn't like. Yeah. We couldn't sit in the room together. Yeah. You know. <laughs> nah.